When I'm retired and I'm on the porch drinking a coffee and I got like goo blown out of my knees, these guys will be racing. <laughs> gap early on and I was just uh, you know biding my time I wanted to see if uh, Bayzin looked really strong at first and I thought maybe he was gonna take some pulls to the long streets Ian Field ended up doing it 
And then as soon as Tim's gap got over 20 seconds, I started to get really nervous because I know how yeah, good he we is. Won, buddy. And um, we won. We won. We won. Uh, it's just we won. one of those things, you know. You know what you're dealing with. So I was like, enough time? We won. you got to go now. And um, luckily, I was strong enough to do this section. Thank you. Been through this section along the shore that I was able to take back some time. And uh, you know, once I unleashed Christian, then it was full gas. I had to go and bury myself. So very, uh, very happy with this win. This means a lot to me. And uh, to win it for my family has been great. So really happy today. Yeah. You can do that. If you want. We're gonna. Yeah. They want us straight to the podium? Yeah. Alright, well then let's Pull hopefully, out. hopefully more straight to the podium. Okay, today. here. Let's do that. Do we have a couple of bottles of water? Yeah, I got one right here. That. Paul, may have that hat bag. Anything else? Light pants? No. Oh, pants, yeah. Will you bring those other shoes? Let's take that water. I got them over. Jeremy. Yeah? Yeah. Roth was like good. Had to have been a good one to watch. I had someone yelling at me that that wouldn't be able to catch them. Stop. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, you got a little schmutz in your ear. There you go. Got it. Yeah. What about I this think one? You're good. No, it's you're good. Okay. Well, we're gonna see you up on the podium very shortly here, Ben Burton. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's out there. He's out there doing the doing the old Timmy J dance. I see you in the in the snake intestines over there, whatever it is. Oh yeah. And I'm like. <laughs> I definitely wanted to win here today, you know, and I know Tim did as well. We both have our family here. We're both, well, I guess I'm not technically from Massachusetts, but I live here now, and I'm from Connecticut. So all my family was out, Tim's family was out. So you know, anytime you got that going on, you want to uh, you want to win and you want to put on a good show, and I think we both accomplished that. Drop a focus, Cannondale Cyclocross World and Opsal. That is, that is your podium today. Bernard in third, Johnson in second, and Powers is your winner. Powers commands in New England. Oh, oh. Every Tim had like 20 or 30 seconds, and a Tim Johnson fan was screaming in my face. Actually, I don't know if he was a Tim Johnson fan, but he was, he might have been a little inebriated. He was just yelling like crazy in my face, just yelling so hard that he was just spitting. You're never gonna get him, just stop! So when I finally got there, I yelled back to them. Did I get there in enough time? Or did I, am I, did I catch him? <laughs> and I felt like that was appropriate because the intensity was just like, there was hate in his veins. So I just felt like I gave it back to him. This is, this is my friend Kelly. We do the event, the Grand Fundo, every July. And Kelly is from my hometown in Connecticut. Actually, he's from a town over, but neither here nor there. And Kelly is the official ice cream truck driver for the Grand Fundo and Hundo. So, to Kelly. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Thank All right, you. hey, hey, let's, let's thank Kelly for being that guy. Thank well, you. Welcome. Is it, can we, can we add, let's ask one question. Has anyone done anything obscene to you while driving the ice cream truck? Everybody is nice to the ice cream man. You can drive slow on the left lane, you yeah. can cut people off, and they just smile and wave. It's, it's, it's beautiful. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys, this looks, I know, a little bit AED, a little out of, this doesn't look like someone that's professional, like a type A person. Like my girlfriend, she would have had this, she would have had a bag that had sectionals and all different types of things in it. I'm going to show you how when you're on the road and you need to get things done, Ready? Start your timer. Now we'll keep those out. Right. Oh, forgot a glove. Hang on. You tuck it in the sides, it's like making a pie. All right, I'm ready to go to the airport. Ready? Oh yeah. All right. Now you carry on, sir. Bam!